you won't believe why these 10 songs were banned. From the provocative protests of punk rock to the soul-stirring narratives of blues and the boundary-pushing beats of hip-hop, music has always been a mirror to society's soul. But what happens when that reflection is too stark, real or controversial? Welcome to Freaky Facts History's Oddities, where today we dive deep into the stories of 10 songs that were silenced, censored or outright banned. Why were they deemed too dangerous for public ears? And what does that tell us about the times they were born into? Stay tuned as we uncover the melodies that rattled the power corridors and shook the foundations of societal norms. Hello, music enthusiasts and history buffs. Today's episode is a fascinating journey through the annals of music history, exploring the songs that hit a nerve so profound that they were banned. These tunes range from the hauntingly beautiful to the boldly defiant, each carrying a story as compelling as the melodies themselves. So without further ado, let's explore the symphony of the suppressed, the playlist of the prohibited, the records that were too record-breaking. The Early Controversies in our journey's first chapter, we encounter Billie Holiday's Strange Fruit, a song that paints a chilling picture of lynching in the American South. Despite its haunting beauty, the song's explicit portrayal of racial violence led to widespread bans from radio stations, silencing its powerful message, but also igniting a conversation about the realities of racism and the role of music as a form of protest. punk's provocative chord. Fast forward to 1977, a year that saw the Sex Pistols unleash God Save the Queen upon the world. With its scathing lyrics aimed at the British monarchy, the song symbolised the punk movement's defiance. The BBC and others quickly moved to ban the track, fearing its impact during the Queen's Silver Jubilee. Yet they only amplified its message in doing so, turning the song into an anthem of rebellion. Pushing societal boundaries. Lou Reed's Walk on the Wild Side offered a candid glimpse into the lives of transgender individuals and drug use, topics that were largely taboo in the early 70s. The song's explicit content led to bans, yet it remains a pivotal piece, challenging listeners to confront societal norms and embrace the complexity of human experience. The Beatles' controversial lyrics. Even the Beatles weren't immune to censorship. I Am The Walrus was banned by the BBC for its seemingly nonsensical yet provocative lyrics, Let Your Knickers Down. This ban highlighted the era's strict censorship practices, showing that not even the world's most beloved band could evade the scrutinous eyes of the censors. Rock and Roll's suggestive beats. The Rolling Stones faced their share of controversy with I Can't Get No Satisfaction, a song that brimmed with sexual frustration and explicit innuendos. Its ban across numerous US and international radio stations sparked debates about artistic expression and societal values, illustrating the growing tensions between the counterculture and mainstream norms. Disco's sensual rhythms. Donna Summer's Love to Love You Baby brought the disco era's sensuality to the forefront with its explicit content and Summer's evocative moans leading to a ban by the BBC and others. The song's censorship raises questions about gender, sexuality and the limits of expression in popular music. New Wave's Bold Message Frankie Goes to Hollywood's Relax, with its overtly sexual lyrics, became a target for the BBC's ban hammer. Yet paradoxically, this suppression only fueled the song's popularity, becoming a defining moment of the 80s music scheme and a discussion point for censorship's counterproductive effects. Hip-hop's powerful voice. Public enemies fight the power brought the struggles of racial injustice to the forefront of the American consciousness. 
Its ban from certain radio stations did little to suppress its message, instead highlighting the power of hip-hop as a force for societal commentary and change. Music's political charge. Wings give Ireland. Back to the Irish was a direct response to the Bloody Sunday Massacre. It was a song so politically charged that the BBC couldn't help but ban it. Yet, they amplified its message in doing so, spotlighting the potent mix of music and politics. Country's controversial conversation. Lastly, Loretta Lynn's The Pill broke country music's conservative boundaries, discussing birth control in a genre where such topics were taboo. The ban by numerous country stations sparked a nationwide conversation on women's rights, proving that music could challenge and change societal norms. As we wrap up our exploration of these provocative tunes, I've got a special invitation for you. Curious to hear the songs that stirred so much controversy? Head to the comments section below, where you'll find links to each track. Listen, reflect, and immerse yourself in the melodies and messages that once shook the world. Whether you're revisiting these songs or experiencing them for the first time, they're sure to leave an impression. As we've seen, the history of band music is as varied as it is fascinating, reflecting the societal tensions and cultural shifts of their times. These songs, in being silenced, only grew louder, echoing through the halls of history and reminding us of the power of art to challenge, to provoke, and to transform. So, what do you think? Did these bands serve their intended purpose? Or did they elevate the songs to legendary status? If you found today's journey through the echo chambers of history's band melodies intriguing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Freaky Facts, History's Oddities. Have your own thoughts about band music or a story to share? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear your tune. Until next time, keep digging deeper, questioning the narrative and, most importantly, listening to the music that moves you no matter how forbidden it may be.